Hi, I'm Lo and this is my Sculpt vs Strobe tutorial for the I Am Freedom Awards. I seem to have a signature highlight and contour that people enjoy, so that's what I'm going to be showing you. I'll also be showing you that you don't need to put a million stripes all over your face or use 10 ton of product on your skin. First I'm going to be showing you sculpting. I just have my foundation on already. I'm going to be using Freedom's Pro Strobe Cream Palette to start off with. It also comes with this lovely little brush and I'm going to be using a tiny bit of this deepest shade here. You want to find where your natural cheekbone sits in your cheek and I promise you do have one in there. Basically, you kind of start from the top of the ear and then gradually build it up, bringing it down and buffing it out. You don't want to put a ton of product on and give yourself a massive stripe. It should just look like a bit of shading into the cheek. You then want to do the same with the same product, bringing it up into the temples and around the hairline. This is just going to give you a bit of definition and make your face look slimmer. I'm going to use this little Pro Contour Stick for the nose and I'm going to be using the darkest colour on this side. This one is great for contouring your nose because it's really slim and precise. If you're trying to make your nose look slimmer, like I am here, you just want to very gently draw a line where you would want your nose to be the slimmest. If I drew where you can actually naturally see shading down the sides of my nose, I would probably make my nose look wider, that's why I bring it in a little. You can also accentuate the cupid's bow and even do a little shadow just under your lip which is going to make them look bigger. You then just want to buff that all in. Make sure with your nose that the lines are well buffed. You don't want to walk around with an obviously stripy nose. I mean unless that's the look you're going for. Each to their own. I'm then taking this colour from the cream strobe palette. I'm taking a tiny bit of product and just dabbing that in under the eye down beside the nose and in like a triangular motion up away from the contour. You can see here really how little product you need to brighten up under the eye. That's why I get really upset when I see people piling an absolute ton on. It's just gonna look cakey. So you wanna make sure that's really nice and blended. And then you're gonna go a little bit through the center of your forehead, very slightly down the center of your nose. Then just using the excess of what's on the brush, I sometimes go a little bit over the top lip and the chin just so they don't look really dark compared to the rest of the face. Now using the Pro Strobe Powder Palette, I'm using the big taupey brown colour from the right hand side and you're just going to kind of accentuate the contour that's already there and also set it with the powder. You're just really going to go over all of those bits that you've already contoured and make sure that everything is blended and perfect. I'm now using this light yellow tone powder just to set under the eyes and through the centre of the face just so nothing budges and you don't look oily. And that is the contoured look. If you like to stay quite matte then that's your go-to, otherwise I'm going to stroke. So I look more fresh and dewy and to take away a little bit of the powdery effect I'm going to use this Pro Studio Priming Water and just spray a little bit of that all over the face. Refreshing. I'm then going to take the strobe cream. I'm going to be applying this over the makeup, but you can also use it under or mix it with your foundation for glowy goodness. Basically dabbing this onto the cheekbones, around the temples, down the nose, etc. This is basically going to give your powder highlight something to really stick to and make it super, super glowy. You could even leave it at this if you wanted a subtle effect, but I'm going for full on glow. You want to be careful when putting it down your nose in the cupid's bow that you're just using a little amount and keeping it really concentrated to where you want it. I'm now taking the shimmery highlighting colour from the powder palette on a fan brush all over the tops of my cheekbones as you can see it's getting super glowy and then take a little bit on the temples down the center of the nose again and onto the cupid's bow with the cupid's bow i like to make sure that it's really down on the lip and not further up otherwise you can just look like you've got a runny nose it's not the look we're going for for extra glow i just take a little bit on my finger and rub it on the tip of the nose just to make it really intense you can even rub a little onto the brow bone for highlight and I even use it on the inner corners of my eyes to make my eyes really look open and to pop. I'm then taking the Pro Blush Palette in Bronze and Baked. I'm going to be using these two colours here as a bronzer. I'm just taking that all around the cheekbones, the edges of the face etc and it's just going to warm up the skin a little. 
the bronzy shimmer part is also going to add a little bit more of a bronzy glow as well. I've then got another pro blush palette in peach and baked. I love these palettes. I'm using the middle bottom peachy one, just brushing it over the cheekbones just to give me a little flush of colour. And that is the finished look. You can decide if you'd rather sculpt or strobe or do them both together. This video is for the I Am Freedom Awards top 30. And if you go and vote for me on the website, I will hopefully make it to the top 20. So please do so if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.